two grams of flour, a half a gram of diamonds. Bro, we were about to get zooted. Shouts out to motherfucking Jason, my yeah. guy. I used the hemp wick, it tastes better. Yes, sir. A lot of folks don't know about the hemp wick, man. Uh -huh. They take the, what do you call it, the gas straight to the... <laughs> yeah. <coughs> And rolling. Yes, sir. Arcanine in the session two today. Shake coasting. All right. Yes, sir, Arcanine. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the low mains of solid sh Oh, shit. Do we still sound crazy as shit, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. But I think, yep, oh, we're fixed now. Welcome, welcome, y'all. We got another beautiful motherfucking occasion for y'all today. I am so glad that we are going back to the streets because that um, I think that's where I like to live the most, my guy, you know? <laughs> we are going back to the streets. We're taking it back with Mr. Jason, man, himself. How you feeling, my brother? Feeling good, feeling great. How you doing? I'm chilling, man. Uh, I'm just so excited, bro, from our last conversation to like now, like to where we are, bro. Like how much fucking great thing happened, bro, and like how I'm fucking excited to like tap into your like you know journey of things you yeah, feel me yeah. <laughs> definitely done a lot yes sir sure. a lot has happened hell yeah a man lot. first things first it's like we're just gonna start with um i'm usually the one you know yelling at y'all about you know getting the merch getting the but you know getting this getting this the shirt that i'm wearing right now it's it's yours truly like jason yeah. is rocking one of the best shirts of all time and check out the back y'all like we gotta check out my Check yeah. out the whole logo. Yeah, we live. Yes, we live my God. Bro, so where did the whole like idea come in to like actually logo, you know, like the, logo. the brand? Well, like it, it was just like a merch idea. I just, I hit up a, someone in the biking community that was a, like a design artist of some kind, you mm -hmm. know? And I gave him a couple ideas. I was like, I like skulls mullets bikes i love that do do something cool and he came up with that and i was like sick we're putting it on a shirt and i'm making it yes sir and then, uh, i have another artist in mind that i want to use out of san diego wet paint larry nice he got the wettest paint so we're, we're gonna be doing it up so i'm gonna be hitting him up to do the next shirt design here pretty soon i love that bro so like it's not just stopping here like we're growing yeah hell yeah man and from there like it's so great that I think it's um, it just hasn't stopped in just being like in the logo. Now, D Jason bought back something that like a lot of people really don't even know existed, bro. Like a lot of people, like a lot of people think that you can just wheelie a bike, and I told y'all this in the last motherfucking episode because people think that you can just wheelie a bike, and that's cool. But when you literally get off of your bike and you are rolling on your motherfucking shoes bro <laughs> like right next to the bike it takes it to a whole new grand of like you know level of dopeness <laughs> my guy so shout out to the heelys um again man like how did the heelys thing come up and like i um, i seen that um that heelys hit you up or that there was a national heely day something yeah, yeah so the national heelys day was uh was july 21st i believe okay last month and it was it was a cool cool event, mm -hmm. but a couple months prior to that, they did slide into my DMs asking to to get a hold of me, okay. and I got onto the phone with them, mm -hmm. and they said that they were watching my videos for a couple months, and that she was sending them into like the CEO and the people that were like higher up in the company, and they That's loved it, and they were asking her how to get a hold of me for National Healy's Day, and then that there was a couple other projects that they wanted to approach me with to see if I was interested in helping with them. Let's go. And of course I said, yeah, I was all for it. And I'm like, this is, this is sick. Like I didn't expect any of this out of all of it. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Like, when they hit me up, I was like, I, I didn't know what to expect at all. Right. But yeah. And bro. And I, and I always tell people like, um, like taking it back to like spiritual shit. Like when you're on the right frequency, you will always receive what you need to receive. Mm -hmm. And my guy, like, I feel like you have such the right frequency for a lot of things in life, which like, I know that you're gonna just soar out of this fucking place, bro. Like, so I, like, I'm fucking, I'm glad to see your rocket fly up. Yeah. <laughs> and bro, um, 
Now, I've seen also you were um, on National Healing Day, but you were out on the east side, right? On the east coast yeah. of the country. Oh, where'd you go? I went to Philadelphia. I went out to Chester, Ooh. Pennsylvania. Or, yeah, Ch Chester, Pennsylvania. That's so fire, bro. How's that? <laughs> yeah, it was. It's different out there. It's cool. I oh. liked it out there a lot. I can't wait to go back to the next event. Mm -hmm. But it was. It was a lot of fun. Is it not the same like bike scene as it is like over here? Um, I know you got a larger bike scene over there. They've got it. The bike scene's a lot of younger kids for sure. Dope. Okay. A lot, a lot of younger kids. Mm -hmm. um, just the whole vibe and the whole pace of the city and everything, like one-way streets and okay. like buses and trains and like it's just not like what it is here in Arizona. It's way different. Bro, facts. I think one thing that I kind of picture when I think about like Philly or like the East Coast, I see like niggas just swerving the fuck out of buses. Like, you oh, know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nasty. Like, the kids out there on bikes are on a different level. My God. A different level. Like, the riding style, East Coast versus West Coast, mm -hmm. is different. Okay, it's wow. It's just different. Like, everybody does different things. Facts. Like, but everybody's having a good time, so that's what it's all about. Hey, really. shots out to that, man. Yeah. Man, I need to go out, like, over there because, um, uh, over there, bro, Philly, New York, and I want to go right out in Florida. There's this random dude out there that, like, I see doing these nasty-ass tricks on the bike, too, bro. So I definitely want to go check out that, man. I forgot his at name. I'm sorry if I forgot. <laughs> but back to our things, man. Um, I do want to talk about, um, you riding with, bro, are you riding with a team now? Um, is it called a team? Is it called a group? Like, it's... No, uh, it's not, not really even a... I'm they've got a team but I'm not a part of the team at all. I just Dope. I'm just like tagging along pretty much and having a good My time. My god, yes sir. Like, it's cool. I like hanging out with all the people and stuff like that. I and love that. When I went out to Philly, they were also there too, so I was like, "Well, I know you guys from back home, so I'm just going to tag along for a little bit." Hey, this kid, I love it, bro. The only people I know, I don't know anybody else out there on the East Coast, you know? And I'm going to just ride it out. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> it's cool. I definitely love all the people over there at Throne. And I love them. They're, they're good yeah. people. Bro, hell yeah. And I see, like, um, you uh, you always go out to the Throne rides that they have in California. Mm -hmm. Like, all over. And to this day, man, um, I, I keep telling you, I got to go out. I got to go out. One of these days, I'm going to make it yeah. out. I promise, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. It's a great time. Facts. Man, all right, so the next things, my guy, we need to talk about the, I think your, your, like, your brand presence on social media is amazing, bro. Like, the way that you kind of, like, dish out these videos that are, that, like, really have nice quality, bro. And, like, and I think I want to teach the world more of that. Like, mm -hmm. how do I get my social media up to the place that I need to get up to? Like, how... And what do you think the main kind of advice that you would give to an aspiring person, bro, that's like, you know what? I really want to revamp my brand. I'm trying to hit this, you know, yeah. uh, like hit it from the ramp up and trying to go from there. Yeah, like if, if you want to like really stand out and be different from everybody else, do something different. My guy. You can't like, yeah, you look at everybody else and see what they're doing mm -hmm. and don't do what they're doing. Do something different. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Cause like, the, the yeah, they've already got a hundred thousand followers because they're doing that. Why does somebody else want to see another person doing it? Cause they already can see him doing it. Right. And they've been watching him doing it. Right. So, yeah, you do something different, and then that's when something will like kind of spark off and for go me. out. You know, like it's, it's new, it's refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And I think, man, a lot of people don't want to do that. Like they think I got to take the same equation. And I gotta just fit it into myself, and it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, because that equation worked for that person. That equation's not gonna work for you because you're a different person. One hundred percent, yes, sir. Exactly. Like find your own niche into things, and we're gonna go into the next one. And before we do go into the uh, next thing, uh, we're gonna take some hits. We're definitely, um, my guy. Uh, shall we get into this one uh, before we get into these right now? Yeah, do it. Yes, want. sir. So. Everybody out there, uh, this episode for all my pothead friends for, I don't even know if I can call people, but like, I'm sorry to generalize you in that way. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's all. Right. For all my people out there that smoke, uh, for all my chiefers out there, today we're really dabbling into weed. We are really dabbling into more um, accolades that my guy, Jason, is just killing out here in the streets. Now, um, 
we're gonna talk about our next thing, bud bros, uh, while we take this hit, bro. My guy, um, uh, as I told you, um, I think off the air, that when I went to Earl Cup this year, that literally the only stand that like rocked my fucking head was bud bros. They had the gravity bong, they, uh, they had dab hits, and like the, like the most dopest thing is, I'm the type of dude, bro, like, I love to smoke, but I love, like, when you explain what the fuck I'm smoking. Like, I hate, like, when people just pass it to you, they're like, all right, just hit it. It's, it's not that easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, I want to I wanna know what just hit it is, you know? You're right, bro. <laughs> and, like, uh, one of the homies that was there, like, he explained it in the most, like, amazing way. So, like, he's like, man, but you're going to get this type of, like, taste. Like, this is what's going to happen. And... Kid you not had one of the best experiences at Bud Bros uh, to the point I went to every other stand and I went right back to Bud Bros, bro I was like, I'm gonna just kick it here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna kick it here for a little bit. Yes, sir. That was definitely me because I, I went to a a Brulesque show and they had a stand just kind of like what you're talking about uh -huh. And they had the email there for dabs and then you could try out different carts and then they had the gravity bomb with the tie stick on mm. That thing, I was like, I really like this. Like, yes, sir. Let me keep going on this real quick. I'll, yeah. I'll just stand in line and take a couple turns real quick. And I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> it, was, it was real cool. Like, even going to, like, the thing like the Earl Cup or the Brulesque show where they have the stand like that is wild to me. Like, never would have thought ever that you could be having something like this at a show. At a show. Bro, like, and picture, like, back to our first smoking days. Like, I would never expect dispensaries or shit like that. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, Bud, Bud Bros is definitely doing it up big, and they've got good product and stuff. I, I really like it. My guy. Um, so, one of the dopest things is um, that my guy is uh, tapped in with Bud Bros, and we got some Bud Bros um, things that we are going to try out with you t uh, today. We got some concentrates. Uh, and then we're going to go over it after we take this hit. <laughs> Man, um, I'm glad that I got another smoker on the motherfucking show with me. D Jason, do you know how hard it is to find people that like really smoke smoke? <laughs> There's not too many people doing. Mm -hmm. People think that we got problems. I'm like, but you ain't doing it enough. Like, go hard or go home. Yes, sir, -ski. My guy. Now, bro, um, I do want to talk about these concentrates. Uh, what type of concentrates do we have here? So, Blood Bros has got the diamonds. Uh -huh. that's, I'm pretty sure that's all that they've got is just diamonds. Let's go. That's all I've seen at the dispensaries for them. And they're always just so good tasting and just fire. <laughs> Now, um, I'm more of a concentrate person, bro. Uh, are you a concentrate person? I, I like them all. I, I'll, I'll do it all. I like it. <laughs> yes, sir. I just, I just like smoking blood. And I, I like flour. Uh -huh. But I take dabs. I'll, I like the pens. It's just right. edibles, different moods, you know what I mean? Uh, right. Just, yeah. It throws you off in like your own... In I different like ways. Yeah, I don't drink. I don't, do, I don't do nothing else. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do nothing. Like, I just... Nice. It's weed. My God, yeah. hell yeah, bro. Um, um, is that and um, is that by choice? Cause like I feel like um, I I got out of drinking mm -hmm. because, bro. Um, it puts you in like I'm not the same type of person I want to drink, and I don't, and I really yeah. don't like that. It's weird. You feel me? <laughs> no, I don't like the way my body feels afterwards. I just feel like achy and just, I just feel like crap. Right. So I just. Not I, with it. I got poison in my body. Yeah, exactly, shit. yeah. And, <laughs> but I can sit here and I can smoke all the weed I want and I'll just pass right out. I'll be fine. And I'll be fine. Yeah, for real. Cool. Body's more happy, you know? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Bro, so we got some crazy-ass questions uh, today that I feel that I, like, I want to let the world inside of the mind of Mr. Mullet Man himself, you know? <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Bro, so um, I got some questions that like I think only I would like predominantly think about or like things that like I would kind of go over um bro like I hate regular questions like I don't like getting to know people in the regular ass way because like you know shit's regular you yeah, know? <laughs> regular. What's up with that, you know for real bro so today I got some questions that like 
I've been burning to ask my guy. So <laughs> uh, we're gonna go through them. The very first one is my guy, who gets the middle armrest? Like whenever that you are at um, at a movie theater, um, uh, let's even talk about plane rides. Like whenever that you're on the plane ride, who gets that middle armrest? You're sitting right next to a person and who gets it? <laughs> How does the rule work? <laughs> who gets it? I don't even know. Because I feel personally, like, um, A, if the person is, like, more weight than you, like, like, I, like, I feel like if they're in another size than, like, me, bro, you can just have it because, like, there's just more, you know, mass, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. but, and, uh, but if we're the same size, bro, I think it comes down to who got there first. And then I'll be courteous as fuck. If you got there way before me, I'm not going to put my arm up. You know, that's yours. It's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, now, now that I think about it, if like uh, you sit next to me and you move your arm, my arm's going to sit there on that armrest. I'm taking it. Then, yeah. But then it's probably going to move so you can get the armrest back and then we'll just go back and forth or something. You know? like, <laughs> I'll use it when I need to use it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I love that, bro. But one of the greatest times, <laughs> I was on a plane ride, and um, I was sitting between this bigger, bigger, like, this bigger fat dude on, like, the side of me that's, like, right next to the window. And I got the skinnier dude on, like, the aisle. So I got my arm on this one, and I don't got my arm on this one. So it kind of looks weird, like I'm kind of like leaning over here. Uh huh. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> For real, bro. Shouts out to these dab hits. Um, uh, the most wildest thing about this shit was, uh, the dude to the left of us was reading the Holy Bible, and the dude to, to the right of us, bro, my guy, was taking three shots of some shit. So like I'm leaning over to the guy in the three shots and like we keep looking over at the guy in the Bible. And I finally just asked him, I was like, so do you feel bad about this? And like he kind of chuckles. I was like, nah, just take your shot, bro. I'm like, you good? Like, That's funny. <laughs> my guy, um, my next question is my, my, um, I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, we all grew up in, I think in the terms that we all grew up in a time that trials and tribulations really stood for something. Like, like you know, like, but you actually got tested for things, you know. Now, um, I say that just to say that, like, you know, all the kids being born uh, after 20, uh, 2019, you know, like anything after that, I don't think they know struggle. I don't, I, I don't think they'll know struggle. I, I should say that. But with that being said, we... You, we all had a certain age that we all loved, we all adored, that things went willy nilly, everything worked out nice. <laughs> yeah. What was your most favorite age and why? Favorite age? <coughs> it was probably gonna have to be like when I was like 14, 15. Let's go! Yeah, doing like downhill bikes and stuff like that. I was mm -hmm. having so much fun doing that, it was great. My guy! You're getting the race and just. Go out there and haul ass and have fun in the mountains. I just miss it so much. That's so fire, bro. I was going to say that, like, mine is, like, 13. Because just that age of just blossoming into something else, yeah. man, and just chasing it. Like, if I could get another downhill bike and start, <coughs> start going and hitting the slopes again mm -hmm. in the summer times, man, I would just... Bro. That would be everything right now that I just want to go out there and just rip some trails so Let's bad. Go. Bro, is it more of a mountain bike or is it, like, more of a BMX? It's it's like a really beefy mountain bike. It looks like a Suron but with pedals. Okay, okay. Much. I know exactly what you're yeah, talking about. And you you can 40, 30 foot drops, big old doubles. Woo! Yeah, okay. You, you can go 40, 50 miles an hour on these things down these ski slopes. Like, Let's go. Glass. Um, is it loose gravel or is it? It's all different types of terrain. Okay. Because it's the like a lot of the places that I like to go to ride are the ski slopes. Mm -hmm. So in the the winter time, the ski slopes, right? Yeah. And then when all that stuff melts, in the uh, summertime, they can open up and they got mountain bike trails. And then you can use the lift and you can go up all day long and just sh shred it back and down. Shred it back down and you can do it at your own pace or go with the gang and do whatever. Like, mm. it's just, it's a blast. That's so fucking dope, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. 
I'm down to come with you on one of these days. Yeah. If I die, ladies and gentlemen, I died happy. You know? Yeah, bro, <laughs> sending it. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's so fucking dope, man. Um, usually, like, it um, is is 50 miles per hour, like the average man. No, no, that's not the average. That's like, that'd be like top. Max, My God, okay. You know but you were like, zoning at yeah, that time. You're just flying. You're just, you're just trying to get through there, you know? Hell yeah, bro. I, like, I think I'd be yelling the whole time. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit is dope. My guy. But God, so the next question that I do have for you is, when does it become love? <laughs> A lot of people... I've been tenderly trying to rush into relationships and um, I can I can happily tell you that me and Jason are in uh, great relationships all right like uh, everything is you know yeah. <laughs> so we are pushing the relationship side on this side <laughs> now bro when do you think it becomes like I can answer like my side for you and to kind of you know open it up that way I think whenever that you guys feel comfortable enough to take a shit in like in front or like when you don't feel bad taking the shit in the you know but your girl walks inside the bathroom like i think at that time you're a-okay yeah. <laughs> you're good then yeah yeah <laughs> what do you think it becomes love bro <coughs> it's just like when they start bringing like random things home that they know you want but you didn't like expect or something 100 percent yeah, like I got you this yeah. because I was thinking about you. I'm like, yeah. And bro, for real. Yeah. Boy, I think uh, um, I really realized that um, I broke my first eye watch, my guy. Because I'm the type of motherfucker, my guy. Like, when you tell me something, again, I want to believe the utmost different. Because, like, the first thing that the eye watch came out was with the Nike version. Like, they're like, it is virtually indestructible. I was like, yeah, I right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah. Let me see this real quick. Bro, for real. So I busted this shit, and it broke. And when it broke, uh, my, like, dumbass, bro, like, one day, uh, I was feeling myself. Again, I don't drink. Uh, I took two shots. When I took the two shots, I had a cracked uh, watch. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And, like, I was like, I want to be that guy that jumps inside the pool with his, like, clothes on. And, like, I took the shit out of my, like, you know, pockets. And boom! And I jumped inside there and I saw my watch on. <laughs> and water went inside and it broke. But one day, bro, it was, like a, it was like a Thursday. Like, so, like, this made it better. Like, it was like, uh, she calls me. So, like, she's like, yo, babe. I was like, what's up? So, like, she's like, do you remember, like, how you broke your watch and you really wanted a watch for your, like, gym and everything? I was like, yeah. She's like, I got you. And, and after that, I was like, yo. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yo, this fire. <laughs> Yo, please find you one. Like everybody out there, please, please go out there and find you one. Bro. <laughs> My, bro, I got you these two. I did want to tell you about the pins. Oh, my guy, oh, yeah. uh, we are making pins now, ladies and gentlemen. That's tight. Uh, bro, um, I got the more like darker one, like the darker uh, edge one, and the more of the just lighter. Yes, yeah. sir. Um. <laughs> I want to like start like playing around with shit like that more too, bro. My yeah, next thing yeah. is I want to make um, one of the homies was telling me like I like I really don't know a lot about it. Uh, bento boxes, bro. Have you ever heard of it? Mm -hmm. So it's like um, I'm just gonna say Asian because I don't know which the predominantly Asian uh, culture it comes from. Um, it's like a bot like they're like to go take out a box and they have like portions for food. Okay. And then like, I was like, bro, just slap the logo on that. Like, you know, put that out, you know, people can take that for lunchtime. You need it. Like, you need <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. That's tight. For real, bro. So, uh, shouts out to uh, all the homies that are giving great ideas and everything, man. Uh, what's the future plans of uh, the mullet, man, man? Uh, what do we got next? I don't even know right now. Just keep riding, doing my Hell thing. Yeah. And just seeing where, where it takes me, like the whole journey so far, I don't, I don't know what I was doing or what I've been doing, but I'm just keep doing what I'm doing because it's working and for real, bro. I don't know, it's just, just going for it. Really. Right, I'm landing the motherfucking kickflip, yeah. right, bro? <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. So like, I'm just, just doing it as I'm going along. So I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing tomorrow or the next day or nothing like that. So it's just, I love it, man. Yeah, all I know is that. Like, I've got an upcoming ride in Santa Cruz. Nice. I'm going to be going out there next week. Um, My guy. But other than that, 
I would just be out there riding the Heelys, riding bikes, it, riding the unicycle, and yeah. Bro, I did want to get into that, man, because we did talk on live last week, but like we mm -hmm. didn't really like talk mm -hmm. on some some sad ass shit happened, man. And so it, it, if I see somebody out there, like uh, bro, I promise you, I will get that shit back for you. Like if I see anybody in predominantly that area, y'all are getting fucking whack. <laughs> um, bro, so you went out to Cali last week. And yeah. um, some thievery happened. <laughs> yeah, we got into the hotel at like 3 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I was super tired. I just went inside and wanted to go to sleep. My God. And I parked, it in, parked my truck in the parking garage and I had a very long cable. Okay. And I like wove it through the rims and the frame. Uh -huh. And then the, on two bikes. And I did it through the wheel on the unicycle. Uh -huh. And then uh, I had an electric mini bike. And I wove it through that too, and then I locked it into the corner. Mm -hmm. And then, so that was three, and then we came out at six. Uh, dang. Yeah. In a three hour span, these niggas had. Yeah, uh, California, find a new fucking hobby. Like, yeah. <laughs> it rode some crazy. <laughs> yeah, so they cut the cable, took two bikes, and the unicycle. Damn, bro. And they, so they took my pink Chad, which was my fixie bike that I really liked riding, mm -hmm. and then. There was a bike that Forty and I had just built that I put gears on, mm. and we just made a video like two days prior to that, and it's right now like almost four thousand likes, and it's over forty thousand views. So it's like getting good traction, and then we don't even got the bike no more to make more content with. I Bro, was like, dang. And you custom built this bike, right, my guy? Pretty much, yeah, from the ground up. So we had Damn. like rims from. Uh, a different bike that I had, I forget what it came from, but we had it had gears, and then I made the derailleur hanger, mm -hmm. and I put the shifter and everything on it, and then we put a uh, suspension fork on the front, That's which was so a twenty seven five fork, and then we had twenty nine inch wheels on it, so it was like a very one off custom build. One hundred, uh, you can't find this anywhere. Yeah, oh, man. No. Like the frame was like a raw metal, was sanded down. Bro, that's not even fucking... Yeah, bro, like, these niggas need to find a new hobby. because That is not even fair. You took away somebody's whole fun for the weekend, and they knew it. it like, yeah. that's the most fucked up thing, bro. Like, you gotta have a heart somewhere. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah, but it's whatever. The, the, I love the Cali family out there. They're, they're awesome. So I was able to get a loaner bike from DZ. Hey, shouts out to DZ, bro. Yeah, DZ Bike Life. Man, I really thoroughly enjoy uh, DZ Bro for like the motivational, uh, like the tips and everything, because I feel like everything is about mindset, and that man has the right mindset, bro. Like, shots out to him. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. He's definitely in the right state of mind. For um, sure. My guy, and he was um, burning some Palo Santo the other day. Yo, Palo Santo is like, the, you know, not a lot of people know about Palo. Um, no. I got shit right by my work desk over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. I was at his house over the weekend. I saw that in his garage. I was like, all right. My yeah. God. Hey, yeah, it's straight chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, uh, bro. Now, before we do leave, we are going to take another dab hit, man. And we're going to go through our socials. But my, my guy, uh, let's take a, a dab hit of one of the, you know, Bud Bros. The Bud Bros. Let's uh, do it. Which one are you, are you thinking? I like the Sativas. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me get this right for you. If anybody got questions in there, let me know. Blessings plug, Ariel. Some lemon pound cake. Uh, 40 said, my brother in Christ. Um, yeah, that's my boy right there. Hey. Yeah, we'll be going to Santa Cruz here in the next couple of days. I gotta hit him up to see if he's gonna be in Cali or what. My guy. He, I know he hitched a ride out there, so. Oh shit, <laughs> so fire? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, he took pitched a ride with DZ back to LA. Hey. Oh, yo, um, you, uh, uh, cause y'all rode out in, uh, I seen y'all content in, was it Tempe Town Lake? Yeah, we were, going out? Yeah, we went out right mini around bike. Tempe Town Lake. Yeah, on the <laughs> Fat Boy Mini Bike. Shout out to Fat Boy Mini Bike, yes. You guys gotta check out the Fat Boy Mini Bike BMX bikes. Bro, yeah, what, what? Like, that was the most dopest dude, bike. Yeah, it's so much fun, dude. Like, oh. I like just taking it out with me and then there's always a group of people that wants to try it and then it's it's just a great time watching yes. everybody like try and do tricks and twist and turn this twist and turns and all kinds of stuff. It's fun. <laughs> it's so fire bro. I gotta definitely try that bike with you. Yeah. <laughs> 
we're going to take this hit. Everybody's smoking out there on this beautiful Tuesday. Good morning, good evening to whatever the fuck y'all doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and if you guys want um, to get a pair of Heelys like I'd be wearing in my videos and stuff, I've got a link on my Instagram. So if you buy it through that link, I'll, you guys are helping me out with all this trips and stuff like that, trying to make all this content and stuff. So Bro, yes. I'd appreciate if you guys buy shoes through my link. I it, really, really, really do. Drop the, yo, um, drop the social. Just like, oh, oh we're going to just keep yeah. dropping it. But what's the social? Yeah, my Instagram is wheelin mullet. Mm -hmm. It's like wheeling uh, without a G. My so, guy. Uh, it'll come up once you put in wheeling, so it, for sure. You'll see the logo yeah, already, yes, it, sir. Yeah. <laughs> My brother. Shouts out, man, and definitely, um, I am gonna buy some Heelys, bro. Um, I was definitely thinking of that, like as soon as the fall comes out. Yeah. Um, like, nothing looks doper to me than a hoodie, some rolled up jeans, and some Heelys at that time. So like, I'm man. with you. Like, yeah. I'm gonna ride with you on that time. <laughs> it, it's just so funny, like. I wear them through the airport while I'm traveling. I, I take them everywhere with me. And gets you it, through. It gets me through. Nobody says nothing other than just like, oh, what the fuck, he's on Heelys. Like, yeah. Like, they, they, nobody says, like, you can't be on those here. Like, uh -huh. never once. Uh, bro, it's yeah. so funny. <laughs> like, some grown dude just wheeling through the airport on his Heelys. Hey, wheeling. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, that's me. That's me for sure. That's so fire. Bro, I went to Salt Lake. Uh, shout out to the family. I went to Salt Lake um, uh, two weeks ago, and I kid you not, my guy, I drove. <coughs> sorry, walked for 22 minutes to my gate because they don't have um, they don't have separate gates. Everything is connected. The like the my gate was 20 minutes, and they told me that from the front. Like they're like, oh, that's a long walk. Just make sure that you're ready. And I'm like. The, like the wheel, like the Heelys would have been perfect for that yeah, time. You yeah. know? <laughs> like, I'm definitely tapping into those, man. Yeah, because a lot of the airports that I go to, they got like, like big ramps sometimes and stuff. They got hills and stuff like that. So yes, sir. You just walk up one side and then you Heely down the other. It takes, it yeah. takes off quite a bit of time. One hundred percent. Yo, shouts out to that, to everybody. Yeah, I was, I was walking through Philly on the Heelys and it said like. Three miles is gonna take forty-five minutes, and it'll be in like twenty because it's all downhill the whole way. Bro, <laughs> so you just catching a nice wind? Yeah, all the way through Philly. Like I was going through uh, like intersections and stuff like that, catching green lights. I was like, hell yeah, this I, is sick. I love it, bro. Next time we just gotta add a what do you call it? A Philly cheesesteak right to that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, just, I'll pull the Philly cheesesteak out of my pocket or something. Man. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to that, bro. Now, um, what did I want to talk about before I do take this hit, man? Um, one of the dopest things is that, that, um, did you see the, 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 um, there was a video that was going around, bro, about the infamous chair. I appreciate you, my brother. The people throwing the chairs. Yeah, bro. With this chair. Wasn't, wasn't that the, the Montgomery Brawl video bro. that started all that, dude? Man. That shit was so fucking crazy, bro. See, I'm all for memes. That's why. That's the only reason why I have Facebook, to be honest with you, is just for memes. Because the and internet is undefeated. Yes, and the memes are great from it. I don't, I don't, I don't know, like... The whole details behind it, Fuck it. Yeah. Like Fuck that. it. Yeah. just like the I only know the memes part, and okay. it's funny. Oh, it's, oh, it's funny to me, like oh for real, like uh, may, uh, maybe not once I figure out what the whole deal was behind the whole fight. Maybe it's something bad or something. I don't know, bro. But, um, it's a really asshole thing, but like, but put it like, cause I think we always gotta put a comedic stance on everything. So like. Yeah. Even though it's a very asshole thing, oh fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> it must not be that bad if everybody's making fun of it, like. Bro, for real. I saw a post even cops are making. They're all like, now we're taking chairs away or something. Like, oh my like, god! Like, so this is some dumb goofy post. Uh, so bro, like the whole thing was, um, the, the, everything I think on that south is like racial and. Um, so the homie was telling them to move the boat. They said that we're not gonna move the boat. So a black dude uh, that like is the dock employee tells them to move the boat. They're like, we ain't moved the boat. Homies have been drinking all day on the lake though. Like, <laughs> bro, they got the shirts off, like, you know, so they're in. <laughs> so, um, so they jump him and as soon as they jump him, it was on and crack it. Like 
some of the employees started swimming off from other boats to come help them. And yeah. bro, retribution happened, uh, retaliation happened, and then um, and as soon as everything kind of conspired, at the end there was this dude with the chair, like this older man, bro, right? And then so like this, like this, like this other dude was still trying to get tough. So like he's like, oh yeah, he hits him over the head with the chair. The cops right next to him the whole time. Yeah. So he sees it. He so he hits him over the head with the yeah, chair. I saw that part. And then he. The cop took him real quick, he hemmed him up. Yeah, bro, and he hemmed him up as soon as he hit the lady, because he turned around, he looked at the lady, he's like, boom, the cop's like, all right, nigga, let's go. <laughs> like, we going together. What was he thinking? Dude? Bro, for oh. real. My guy, like, that shit was so wild. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, I got to FaceTime my girl. I dropped the weed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's a music video I saw about it. That, it was so funny. It was like the first pool to swim to a fight. The Montgomery Bra. Bro, bro he's yes. Swimming the, from the dock to, yeah, that's yes, what you're sir. talking about. Uh, and then, um, about, about AKAs, bro. Like, anytime that you get a new AKA in life, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all. <coughs> That's the shit, y'all. What was that, my guy? Is that the is the lemon shit. Pound, lemon pound cake. <sighs> Some diamonds. Pound town. But that whole song. <laughs> yeah. Bro, um, um, they, but they gave him a new AKA, uh, Aquaman. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> <laughs> but guys, we are eternally high. Thank you for coming in. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Bro, before we do leave, um, I do like to start asking this last question. What is what is one last thing that you would like to tell the world? And what is the socials, my guy? <laughs> the socials are uh, Wheel and Mullet on Instagram and TikTok. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'd be posting the most of everything. Everything, but mainly Instagram. Mike, um, <coughs> I'll be having some new uh, merch shirts here within the next week coming out. Oh, so okay. So I'll be doing that. Um, yeah, if you guys want to get Heelys, I got the link on my Instagram. I definitely appreciate it. Tap into definitely for the, <coughs> the merch shirts. You guys can always. <coughs> if there's like something custom you wanted to see the logo on. Just hit me up. I'm down the my guy for ideas or whatever i really think that um if there's someone out there bro i really do would love to make a collab like with both of us like you know the homie holding like a takeout box that would be so Something. fucking fire yeah like i'm yeah i'm all open for collabs i'm open for yes sir you know, i'm all ears like no Let's idea is a bad idea to be honest what i love that yeah. bro yes sir man shouts out to that man and my guy what's one last thing that you would like to tell the world just keep on going. Just keep doing it. I love that. Keep on keeping on. For yeah, real. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, just keep sending it. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah it. Bro, do you know, I barely found out about that term. Like, I swear to fucking God, bro. I, like, I asked one of the homies, I was like, all right, what does it really mean? I was like, I see it everywhere. Like, I was like, what, like, what does it say? Like, he's like, full send, bro. I was yeah, like, just, just go. <laughs> just just go. go. <laughs> That's so fucking fire. And everybody's full send is different. So, like, <laughs> and mine's some like <coughs> bikes and doing heelys or if yours is some people's poetry or right doing different things like whatever they it's their cup of tea you know find your inner full scent yeah like some people like riding dirt bikes some people like riding serons some people like riding unicycles or one wheels just like for real there's just they it's what they are hardcore about it's what they like doing for real bro my guy and Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna bring y'all more video footage of uh, my guy Jason out here too, cause it's gonna be dope. My like, I really want to go out to these mountains with you. Like, we can, you know, backpack. Oh, yeah, <laughs> do something out. Yeah, yes. Do something. Yeah, be outside. I love that shit. Hell yeah, bro. Now to everybody out there, Fresh Prince of the underscore West on Instagram, Low May nineteen ninety on Snapchat. Make sure to find me. Make sure to follow my guy Wheelin Mullet. Yeah. Tap in, buy the motherfucking Heelys, buy the motherfucking shirts. I love y'all. 
drink your water. Tip the bartender. Peace. Right after the recording, you still back out here. Get y'all self a wick, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Shouts out to Bud Bros, too, bro. I think we got higher than high on this episode, and appreciate Bud Bros for that. Like, <laughs> right? Smoking. Get yourself one of these. Well, but I do say that. Get yourself one of these at the same time. <laughs> these are some dope ass shirts, and it feels nice. I'm all about bro. Um, you know, shirts that feel nice. You know, yeah, <laughs> got to Yes, sir. Sure. Gotta have it. That was one of the things that I was looking for when I was going to make the shirts. Cause I'm like, we're in Arizona. We need something that's comfortable. Oh, exactly, bro. I don't want to be hot. Definitely, it's one of those and. <coughs> you know those like H and M shirts that you wash like once, and it's just like, where did my shirt go? <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not with this ones. Yeah, these are fire, yeah, I bro. I washed this one quite a few times, and it's still brand new. Hey, bro. it's still popping, bro. Yeah. And that so dope. Yeah, definitely tap in, y'all. Thank y'all for watching the whole show. We'll see y'all next Tuesday. Uh, yeah. Peace.